G'day fellas and welcome back to another episode of Draft Wars. We were both very happy with the response from the first episode. Seems like you guys want to see more episodes, so... We gotta do it, man. We gotta do it. We gotta bring it back. How you doing, Dusto? I'm doing good. We had such a good response with the first episode. We just decided it was so nice, we had to do it twice, right? Yeah, actually, I should. it's kind of sick. I wish that was my intro. If you haven't seen the first episode, go check it out. It's got a small display of the rules, and the rules will always be down in the description, as well as Dustin's link. Unlike me, if you have friends to play Draft Wars with, make sure you tweet me some of your picks from your drafts, and we will start featuring them in the upcoming episodes. I would love to see what you guys are doing if you do do Draft Wars. So show me what you got. Show me your best picks. I'm spinning. Three, two, and stop. Okay, here we go. Oh, yes. Okay, I don't know how I could have beat last time, but I got the Redskins. Gimme, gimme. Oh my god, you're guaranteed a top five. <laughs> I know. Oh, such a nice hoodie. Three, two, one. And stop. Okay, this could go either way. It's the Panthers. Oh, yeah, but the, I think on these rosters, you still have Keekly and you still have... Yep. Yeah, you still got everybody, bro. <laughs> yeah. I still have Greg Olson. I still have Keekly. Yeah. I'm I'm one in one right now. <laughs> Sucked in. Right? All right, let's go auto-generate this bad boy. Let's see what we got. What are we working with in the class? The most exciting part, two right, quarterbacks to start out. Okay, well, definitely I would need a quarterback, but I don't think I'm going to have a draft pick that high. Oh, that's unlucky, mate. I think I'll save the first round for the later part because... I don't know why, I feel like sometimes you let me know how good players are, so I don't even need to scout them. That's that's very true. <laughs> yeah. You know, I go through the entire first round. Oh my goodness, I got so many notifications, like... I just got a frustrated receiver. It looks like DJ Moore is not happy with me. I'm 0-4, I don't care, mate. I'm not going to say any names, positions, or anything else like that. Yep. But there is a guy at the end of the first round who has A+, plus, B+, plus, B+, and it shows him as a second round blood diamond. It's funny, I cut it out of the last episode because I didn't want it to go too long, but I found a bit of a glitch, right? It just happened, I'll see if I can slow it down for you guys, but sometimes for a split second, you can see what the player's diamond is gonna be before you even touch scouting them. Yeah, that's it's not doing it to me. It must only be to you. Okay, so this guy, Juan Green, is wide receiver in the seventh round. I won't hide it from you. I haven't scouted uh -huh. him at all, but I just saw a green four on the diamond. So when we come back to scout next, I'm going to come straight to Juan Green. And if he is a fourth round green gem, then we've just found a glitch, baby. Who do you think is going to win, mate? The zero or five Redskins or the zero and four Dolphins? Oh, I'm going to say it's it's you because you got one more loss. Than I hope not. We lost. Thank goodness. So let's go let's check this see. out, mate. I, this might be let's... really glitchy. Juan Green. Juan Green. He is. I'm, He's I'm a fourth round green diamond. Oh my God. That's crazy, bro. That... How cool is that? And I don't know how to activate it though. That's the thing. It's super weird. Like it's very tedious, but like, I think once you've scouted somebody and you go over them, then it kind of, you know, I don't know how it works, bro. But fun fact, right? That is a thing in the game. I'll straight out say it. I don't care. This one's a quarterback. A plus throw power, A minus mid accuracy, B deep accuracy, fourth round blood diamond. Why did that you is... tell me blood diamonds though? I'm not trying to hear that. <laughs> no, but it's just like, how can you have such great stats, but it's it's popping up like- They're baiting you, Dustin, mate. They're baiting you. Oh, that's mm -hmm. hilarious. I got my first win. And guess who it was against? Team I had in the last draft wars. <laughs> I won again. I'm two and six. I'm six and one. <laughs> this is not going well for me right Jeez. now. This is not going well. Bro, I found your running back. Okay, now, before you go into anything. All right, you got my attention. There's one in specific, but there are two in the second round, the beginning of the second round. Uh, look at Dominique Shea and look at Leslie Pearson, and you're welcome. What the hell? Oh, Dominic Shea is that dude. I think he's a lot better than Leslie Pearson. Dominic Shea is out of Texas A&M as well. That seems like it's kind yeah. of fate. I'm just saying, because, you know, if you've been watching the channel, you've been seeing that Latavius Knight, Texas A&M running back. Oh, 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 man. I don't know. I think I might be the king of a certain position. I'm just saying. Not uh. king, but, I mean, I'm finding... 
a lot of gems for this one particular position a lot lately. As we do more draft wars, I can't wait to see the superstar cheese, like the Heisman cheese. I want to see, because oh, yeah. last time that wasn't bullshit. That was legit. Like that guy was an absolute monster, man. Oh, we're, we're versing each other, mate. <laughs> Three day versus 10 and one. Oh, we're not winning Dude, that game. This I'm finding more gems oh. in the Keep going, sir. beginning to mid mid second round than I am anywhere else. Yeah, I haven't actually touched the first or second round yet. I've just been in the later part of the draft, bro. This is a marathon. This ain't a sprint. So here's the thing. Week 15 again. Let's go see if there's a trend. Because last episode, we managed to stumble across quite an impressive Bryce Heisman winner. Do you want to take the honors again, mate? Oh, oh my God, dude. I see it. Go look I at see it. it right now. I see it. Oh my god. And I called it before we even got the Heisman cheese on that shit. Oh, look at that. Man. That is, I mean, low key, that's kind of fate, right? Because I was saying Texas AM running oh my back. God. You showed me him. But now we have to go into our scouting and see if that boosted him up into the first round or if he's still in the second round. Let's see. Yeah, he's a first round running back now. He's 22nd. Uh, he's number number 22. Yeah. Oh my god. Oi, oi, oi. Guess what? Huh? He is the same height and weight as Latavius. I just noticed that too. Six yeah. foot six two, two, two thirty. Latavius is 6'2", 240, but uh, it's close enough. The true test now is to get into uh, the offseason second round and see what his combine grade is. Oh yeah, oh yeah, dude, I am so excited. Like, we got the combine back. Let's go check this out. I'm really interested. To I have- 7.4 combine. I see that, I see that. He's slow as hell Five, though. 4.58. He's slow yeah, as hell. he's slow. <laughs> Look he's, how strong he is though. Here's the thing, right? He's an elusive back. Does that make any sense yeah. whatsoever? I got the first pick in the draft, by the way. I just want to point that out. I have the 30th pick. So this is gonna be very interesting, bro. What? <laughs> oh my god! Spit it out. God, I, I can't. I can't. I need to save this guy. Come on, man. <laughs> I, okay, how about so... this? Tell me, and I promise I won't draft him. I won't even. I won't even. I'll scout him, but I won't draft him. You got my word. Uh, wide receivers. One is in the third round. Marcus Styles. Hold on, hold he on. He has a seven point oh combine grade. Oh yeah, I already scouted him ages ago, bro. Okay. What? What about Arsenio Cochran? Arsenio out of Wisconsin. Oh, fourth round. 7.3 combine. Scout him. Oh, wow. Scout He's a first round talent in the fourth. Oh, yo, that's kind of cool. I like that. Dude, did you see where, where Juan went to? He went all the way down to the seventh. He's only got 5.8. You boys ready? You ready, mate? I'm ready, bro. Let's I'm go. ready. Let's go. I'm pumped. You already know who I'm going with the first Let's round as well. It is a reach, but oh, this yeah. is my only opportunity to get him. And uh, I hope all of you hardcore fans out there understand that sometimes it's bigger than the game. Dominic Shea. I, I think we're pretty sure everybody is, is interested in this one. Now let's just get the facts out of the way. Here's a mid first round talent. He's not an early first round. All right, but I'm still gonna pull the so trigger So he's probably on. like a 75 or 70, oh. 72. <laughs> he is uh, ranked 19th in true talent, my good man. He's also got some pretty good stats, but we'll oh. check all of that at the end of the draft though. We'll check all that out. Yeah, you pick literally three picks after me. Yeah, I'm right after okay. you. That's hilarious. Because you took Dominique Shea, I'm gonna take Leslie Pearson. Okay. I swear, if Leslie uh, Pearson beats my guy, bro, I'm gonna be incredible. He's an early first round talent. Yes, he is. Uh, That's why I'm taking him. So let's, ladies and gentlemen, let's find this out in three, two, one. Booyah! Okay, he's a 76 overall and he's ranked seventh in true talent. I'm gonna go ahead. This is again a reach, but like reaches don't really matter in this game. I'm just playing it cautious because last time I saved a guy, he got robbed from me. So I'm gonna go with Julius Montgomery, vertical threat tight end out of South Carolina. He's an early third rounder, but he's a mid first round talent. And his combine is pretty yeah, good. I, like it's pretty all around. I, I scouted him, yeah. 73 overall, he is ranked 15th in true talent. Wait, you said 15th? 15th in true talent. I'm going Arsenio Cochran. Oh, that you going so, deep, deep, okay. I, I'm going deep, baby. <laughs> Two, one, deep breath. Bro, we just take your people so early. <laughs> Whoo, oh my God. What? 74 overall. 
13th in true talent. Are you see, Bro, come on. <sighs> so you were two I love this draft class. Yeah, this is a pretty good draft I class. I love this draft class. Yeah, it's fantastic, isn't it, mate? It's the third round, so I think it's a no-brainer that Marcus Styles should probably get picked well, up. He's got 4-5-9 yeah. speed, but we've seen amazing receivers in recent years come out with 4-5 speed. And turn out to be oh, the yeah. best receivers in the NFL. So, Marcus Styles, I like the name as well. Styling on them boys. He's a 71 overall, ranked 24th in true talent. That's pretty good. Woo! 24th is oh not my bad God. at all. I'm going to have to say screw it. I'm going to go with Brendan Bartell out of Florida State. Right tackle. 6.0 combine. I'm, taking the I'm a little bit worried. I'm worried though because he's 15th in the bench press, 67 overall, 74th in true Oh, thank talent. goodness. Finally, I'm on the board, mate. All right, so this is where my gems start coming into place. I'm a lot more wise with it now. We're in the fourth round. I'm going to go ahead and take Rashad Hanna, free safety out of Iowa State. He's a fifth okay. round player, but he's projected mid second round. Well, you can't go wrong with that. Yeah, he's pretty good combine report, but you know, most safeties have good combines. Let's see what he turns out to be. Mid second round talent. He's 68 overall, ranked 49th in true talent. So not awesome. Wow. But I like the afro. He's got an afro going, and I kind of dig it. There is a 3.1 grade quarterback here. That is... Buzz sick. Fenton? You talking about Buzz, mate? Buzz Lightyear? Yeah, yeah, Buzz. Take yep, Buzz. Buzz Lightyear. You right gotta there. take him. His name's Buzz. You can't go wrong with Buzz. I was gonna go with Jalen, though. Jalen looks kind of good. He's got B+, plus, B+, plus, and B. I'll tell you that right now. It, it makes it interesting, right? It makes it interesting. Yeah, take him. I mean, I, I didn't scout him, so for all I know, he could be like a seventh round blood diamond. So let's find out. Screw it. This, this is all for fun anyways, right? Yeah, that's right. Crow's probably laughing his ass off right now at me. Oh, yeah. He's a oh, six-round gem. Oh, that was gem. horrible. A uh, red gem. Sorry, not a gem. A six-round. 61 overall, 178th in true talent. Hey, his top three skills are B plus, B plus, B. I did my part. I told you what he was. I'm going to go ahead and take Clifford Elliott. Now, this guy is kind of surprising, bro. Clifford Elliott, he's a middle linebacker in the sixth round. He's a green third round gem. And look at his combine, it's pretty good. 6.5, holy crap. It's yeah, fast. it's pretty good, hey. Let's go ahead, pull the trigger on him. 67 overall, he is 67th in true talent. Not bad at all, not start of the fifth round. That's actually really, really 67. good. 67, I mean, it took me having the first round pick to do it, but hey, I mean. Uh, it's the end of the fifth round, so so it's, it's verifiable to take this guy at this point. So I'm going to take Artavius Wilkerson out of Maryland. You're taking a fullback? A Come on, bro. It's a utility fullback. No, you're not taking Six a fullback, man. Come we're, on. We're not doing... You're going to win the round, though. You know you're going to win the round. That's why you're taking him. Exactly. <laughs> I'm going to head over and take the only safety that I have left on my board. I didn't even finish scouting <laughs> But Rudy Johns is out of Iowa. He is oh, a yeah. zone coverage, 6.6. .6. Uh, his first one is like a B plus. That's the only That's thing that bad. I got out of him. Come on, Rudy, do it for me. 66 overall. Damn it, I think you won though. 93 in true talent. Yeah, I got 67th in true talent. Not bad for an undrafted though. No, that is really good for an undrafted player. Like that is extremely good. Do you know who my last player is? Take a guess without looking. It's my oh, boy, shit. Juan Green. Now, it's funny because I found this guy through a glitch, right? Like, I literally saw this yeah. guy through a glitch. He turned out to be good. It's 3-2. Can Juan finish it off? He's a 64 overall. Hidden development. He's ranked 122nd in true talent. Drafted him at 161. There is nobody left. Like, it is all trash. I'm going to take this guy, and this might cost me... His, his name is Charles Gizzy. He's a speed rusher, defensive tackle out of Michigan State. Hey. He is a 6.3 combine. He is the sixth fastest, third on three cone, third on 20 yard shuttle. Let's find out what he is. He's good. 66 overall, 98th in true talent. So you won. Let's go. Wow. Fullback Artavia. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm not taking the fullback. We do have to check and see what his stats he are. He won't get drafted, man. At the end. Okay, so I've kind of gone through a fair bit of it here, and I don't have a lot. I, I'm not going to hold you there. I'm not going to pretend like i got some mystical player that I don't. 
Okay, so I've got three people on my draft board. Two middle linebackers and a defensive tackle. I know nothing about them whatsoever. I'm going to take Leon Payton. This is probably going to be a flop. I pray it's not. Just get me my first win, please. <gasps> oh! <laughs> 56 in true talent. Oh my god. He's a second round talent. I think we're going to go Deontay Henry. 6.0 in combine. Decently strong. Uh, not not exactly fast, but not exactly slow. So, let's Deontay. See it, baby. Okay, Deontay. Let's see what this is. And I flopped. <laughs> 59 overall. 242nd in true talent. Congratulations. Finally, mate. Like, I'm looking at the seventh round, and then all of a sudden it pops up. There's Leon Payton, 68 overall. Like, 82 Excel, 80 speed, 73 block shedding, good awareness, play rec. He has big hitter, swim move, spin move, strip ball, high motor. My first two picks are, are the biggest shockers to me because I knew they were going to be good. I didn't think they were going to be that good. I honestly thought Shea was going to be the better running back of the two. I didn't think Pearson was going to come out being as good as he is because he's a receiving back. I, Shea's a superstar. I, I drafted some late people that had hidden development. This guy, Juan Green, the guy that I got in the second last round, mm -hmm. he's a hidden development. That sixth rounder that I took, Charles Ooh. Gizzy out of, out of uh, Michigan State, Yeah, he's a superstar. Juan Green is a superstar? Yeah, the guy that was 7th round projected late 4th or whatever. That's crazy, dude. This is probably my best draft to date. Like, without cheesing and getting 5 first round draft picks, like, this is probably yeah. my best draft overall. I feel every pick was solid. So let's so go find nice. that fullback. That's the last thing we gotta go do is check out what that fullback turned out to be. He was a 70 overall. He's on the Jaguars. Fullback's got to get cut from draft fours. I'm just, I'm sure everybody yeah. can mutually agree because that's like, that's a free I, round, yeah, bro. Can agree. That's a free round. If you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. Do not forget to check out the description and go give Dustin a subscription. Once again, it's just been really fun doing this with you. I'm so glad we're back and I cannot wait to see how far we can take this. Absolutely, mate. Well, I will catch you guys in the next one. Have a fantastic day, and I'm out. Peace.